This is part 13 of C-Sharp interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss how to reverse each word in a string using C-Sharp. This is a common interview question. Let me explain what I mean. We have our input string here. So this input string at the moment contains five words. One, two, three, four, five. Now what we want to do is reverse each of the characters in each of these words in the string. So we want one to be reversed to ENO. Similarly, 2 will be OWT. Similarly, 3, 4, 5. Let's see how to achieve this using C Sharp. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here we have our input string, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The first thing that I'm going to do here is take the input string and on that I'm going to call the split function. And it expects the separator. What is the split function going to do? It's going to split the single string into a string array. Now, if we want to split a string into a string array, then we'll have to specify what is the separator based on which you want to split the string. The separator is going to be the single space character that we have between every word. Okay, so I'm going to specify the single space as the separator. So look at this IntelliSense. Split function is returning a string array. So now we will have a string array that contains these five words. And on that, I'm going to call this link function select and specify a lambda expression, x such that. And then I'm going to use a new string constructor. Now, what does this x represent? It represents each string that we have in the string array that the split function is returning. Okay, so for example, now if we have one, you know, within this x, what do we want to do with that string? we want to reverse the characters in that string, right? To do that, I'm going to use that x, which represents each string that we have in the string array that the split function is returning. And on that, I'm going to call the reverse function. And if you look at the IntelliSense of this reverse function, look at what is reverse function giving us back. It's giving us an i enumerable of character. That means a collection of characters, okay? Now, this reverse function will reverse the characters and it's returning that string as a collection of characters. If you look at this string constructor, you know, it expects a character array. So if we give it a character array, then based on that character array, this constructor can construct a string. Now I'm going to convert this i enumerable of character to a character array simply by using to array function, okay? So this will return a character array to the string constructor and the string constructor is constructing a string from that. Now this is going to operate, this lambda expression will be applied for all strings that we have in the string array that this split function is returning. So at the moment with this select function, what we have is a string array that contains you know, all these five words but the characters in them are reversed because of this reverse function call here. Okay, so now look at this select function, what it is returning. It is returning an i enumerable of string. That means a collection of strings. We have these five words in that collection. Now what we want in the result is a single string back. Now to get that single string, we want to join all the strings that we have in this i enumerable of string. Okay, so to join those strings back together, I am going to use join function of the string object. So string dot join. So how do you want to join all those substrings? You want to join them. So if you look at the result, how do we want to join them? We want to join them using a single space. So I'm going to use the separator as a single space and we have to specify our string array here. And that string array is nothing but whatever we have right here. So I'm going to cut that and specify it right there and end with a semicolon. So what is this join returning us back? Look at that. It's returning us a single string back. Let's store that in a variable string. Let's call it result string equals that. Just to make this a little readable, I'm going to you know, bring the split function to the next line and similarly the select function. All right. Now let's print that to the console. So console dot right line and let's pass our result string. So now we should have each character in each of the words to be reversed. Notice that 
the output is what we expected. Thank you for listening and have a great day.